Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Andy bought this 160 brake horsepower MGTF last year as a project car. The idea being that it will be his track day machine once fully sorted. Being a project car, he came with many problems of course, most of which have been sorted now, but the car is definitely not performing as well as it should. He spent a while doing some basic checks and troubleshooting and found very low compression on cylinder number four. We've used a boroscope to look into the cylinder and it doesn't look like the piston is damaged. However, there is some unidentified loose material in there. We know it's not magnetic, but otherwise we don't know what it is and we can't remove it through the spark plug hole. Hopefully we'll find something simple and easy to fix and it won't turn out to be a nasty problem like a cracked head or damaged bore. However, there's only one way for us to find out. There's not much else we can do now except take the cylinder head off and see what's going on in there. We'll quickly time lapse through the initial stages of the strip down as this is the simple stuff. Is it okay? No, I don't know what a duck oil tastes like. Oh, lovely. It's quite, quite tasty. Yeah, it, it, it tastes a lot worse than we expected to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just the exhaust manifold removed now, and we're done for the day. Next job is to remove the pulley and auxiliary belt. I'll just turn it until you tell me to stop. Move scratch off. Those things are so good, aren't they? Now the lower timing belt cover comes off, exposing the belt and tensioner. Next, we remove the offside upper engine mount. Going the other way. Going down there. The block. <laughs> the block. I don't know which way it's going to go there. It's going to be. Oh, it's out right. It is. Oh, it's going backwards. <laughs> Oh, 
turned out in that way. Somehow I didn't get any video of removing the tensioner and belt, but that was next. The tensioner is held on by two bolts and is simple to remove. Then we just had to remove the head bolts and lift off the head. There is something still. Right. That was silly easy. Yeah, it was. Uh, so, rubber mallet, not required. Uh, yeah. Uh, cool. Okay. It is. But well, I hadn't cut out one, put it that way. And this has turned itself off. Okay. Oh, we've still got a electrical connector around here. With Is it off now? Yeah. Okay, third time lucky. Yeah. Here we go. And we're free. That's it for the first part of this project. Thanks for watching.